Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to separate the upper unit from the lower unit. We are working on an Alpha One Gen One Mer Cruiser Outdrive. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, outside of the Outdrive engine, this is a Mer Cruiser Alpha One Gen One. The Gen Twos, the Bravos, they're very similar, so definitely stay tuned. We are going to separate the upper case from the lower case. And what we recommend always before even removing your Outdrive engine from your boat, make sure you have a reliable stand for your Outdrive engine to alleviate any damage damages to the engine itself. And the stand shown right in front of us was only about $150 after tax and I will post a link down below in the comment section as well as description on how to assemble that. And the stand right to the left of that is going to hold the lower unit. And we will also post that down below in the comment section as well as description section. We definitely recommend it. However, continuing on again, we are going to separate the upper case from the lower case. Let's get started. The very first thing you want to do, whether your engine is still connected to the boat or off the boat on a stand as shown here, is drain all the gear oil out of the lower unit. And scrolling above is a link to a video on doing just that. Definitely check that out. You may find it very helpful and then come right back here and we'll help you continue the project. And with that said, coming to the back, we are going to remove this little plastic cap. And inside here is an Allen bolt. And let's go grab our Allen wrenches and remove that internal bolt. Back from the toolbox, and this requires a 3 8 size Allen wrench. And I'm definitely at a disadvantage having the engine removed from the boat on a stand with caster wheels, but we're going to do our best. And from here, just go ahead and loosen that Allen bolt. And surprisingly, that went very well. As you loosen up that bolt, your lower anode will come off and in the event that you plan on keeping it don't let it just drop on the floor and get damaged however you can see with the condition of ours we are going to be replacing that next thing we're going to remove is this 5 8 nut and after that you see this little washer and we'll have to grab a phillips screwdriver and remove that screw and that nut loosened off very easily and it's a good time to check that internal shaft in the event that you have oil running down that shaft your seals will definitely need to be replaced however back to this part phillips screwdriver remove that screw next real close to the nut we just removed on each side is a 5 8 nut and we need to loosen it up we're not going to be able to remove them fully until we get further along in this project but we need to loosen them up again grab a 5 8 wrench and as you do this, just do your best not to scratch your paint to the opposite side. Quick update to wires, that 5 8 Allen bolt was very stubborn and I went ahead and sprayed it with some PB blaster and I'll show you what I did next. Here's the blaster I used and we will post a link down below in the comment section as well as description section on where to buy that. Grabbed a rubber mallet and with my left hand applied upward pressure where this hex key slides into the Allen bolt and I used a rubber mallet to tap it. And I did my best not to allow the hex key to touch the outdrive itself to scratch the paint. And just some friendly taps loosened it up. I did allow 15 minutes for this PB blaster to work into that stubborn bolt. After removing that bolt, slide just in front of that and you will see two additional 5 8 nuts. Go ahead and remove both of those. At this point, DIYers, this is probably going to be the trickiest part of the project for me because I've got the engine off the boat. And what we'll do now is just carefully tap with a rubber mallet until it separates, as you can see here. And as it separates, just continue to loosen up those nuts until you can remove them and we'll hop to the opposite side do the same and we'll do our best to lower this lower unit into the towel and grass area without damaging that lower skeg and at that point we will shift it out and rest it on that white stand Alright DIYers, that went surprisingly well and as you can see on the top left the upper case and the lower right hand corner is the lower unit and it fits perfectly in that lower stand and that upper unit is just resting on top of the bars on that stand so as we move it or pick it up we just have to be careful and you'll notice I've got a paper towel down below to catch any and all oil that drips out of the upper case and there shouldn't be much. It's been sitting here for about a minute and a half and there isn't any drips couple things I want to talk about. I have replaced all the bolts and nuts back where they were just so I don't lose them or get them mixed up when it comes time to put everything back together. Here's that long 
3 8 bolt and I put the bolt that was very stubborn back in the lower portion of the upper unit. I put the plastic cap back on and the lower nuts on the two lower rear studs. And I want to come to this portion right here. Here is your impeller and water pump and right here is a oil passage that feeds oil from the lower gear case all the way up to the upper gears. And if you ever see any oil leaks in this area when the upper unit is connected to the lower unit and the entire outrides on the boat, well chances are this o-ring right here has given way, dry rotted, cracked or whatever and it's allowing oil to seep out and we recommend getting that fixed ASAP because in the event that the lower unit is not feeding gear oil to the upper case, guess what? Lights out, game over for those upper gears. That would not be good. So I wanted to cover those very important things. DIYers from here, we've got a lot of work to do. Again, we are going to rebuild all the internal parts, the gears, the shafts, the bearing, etc. So definitely check out the video scrolling above. It is going to take you to the very next step of our project. And this is where all the fun begins. Hopefully we will see you there. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.